Everything that's on television is in a drama sense, in a single camera sense, is going through color correction. And the reason being is, is we can really embellish what the cinematographer set out to do. Um, sometimes you go in and do more visual effects work, sometimes you do more fixing work, sometimes you, you change things completely the way it's shot, but everything that we see on television goes through the process. I'm Larry Field, I'm a colorist, and I work on the show Salem. Well, the history of color correction would date back to actual color timing of uh, a motion picture film uh, where they had three printer lights and they would go ahead and, and color time the image um, to make a print. Moving forward to where we're at now, we're doing digital color timing, digital intermediate, where whether or not it's film capture or digital capture, um, we are manipulating it to make an end result, to make a print, to make a final master. Fortunately for us these days, we have a lot of tools that color timers back with film did not have. The role has evolved and a lot of color timers have moved into becoming colorists in the digital intermediate world. I found my way into a very low level position at a post-production facility, transferring motion picture negative to videotape. That was what a colorist did then. Everything had to do with film, it was film based. So I found myself apprenticing underneath a really good colorist who showed me what they were doing and, and I helped them out and they helped me out and it was, it was a very good start. Motion picture film, um, the way we used it went by the wayside to digital imaging and so we kind of have the same process but we're color correcting files and resulting in files. All right, we have this, this shot here of the close-up of our character uh, in a place where we, we tonally like it. I want to kind of have our eye go to the subject here a little bit more without anything else in the frame distracting us. So simply um, drawing a mat here which will show that I've isolated the, the main character here or the character in the frame and brought down the foreground character so our eye goes to him. Um, secondly, thought maybe it was a good idea just to bring out his eyes for the emotion of the scene a little bit more. Um, you can see them fairly well but just just a little bit more just to give give a little more life to them um, and then that's that's tracked in so the, the audience doesn't even know if we did that. But the idea of maths and drawing your attention to where you know the the filmmakers want you to see is is a big aspect of, of color correction. Surely that was not an evil act. A man died that night. It's a really good time for television right now because we're in a, a moment of change once again. We're going from high definition capture and portrayal to 4K capture and portrayal and even high dynamic range, which is the next exciting step that we can portray images to the consumer more like your eye sees. As a colorist, we're just here to, to help the cinematographers, producers, filmmakers portray their image. We're part of their crew. So we're not here to overshadow or have our look. And that's the most important thing a colorist has to know is that we are here to help the filmmakers resolve their product. I've always been, you know, obsessed with animals. I was one of those little girls who had every kind of pet imaginable. I've always kind of wanted to understand how they communicated. That kind of started my, you know, interest in training.